the Maxwell designers and creators. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Pilot, and welcome to part two of the course where I'm teaching you how to create a super cool cinematic um, animated promo. In the previous video, we added, we created the text animation, and in this video, we're gonna go and animate some of the interfaces. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Right, so this is where we left off in the previous video and uh, let's go ahead and create the next part. So what I'm gonna do is actually, uh, we name this to main, rather what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press, press enter and I'm gonna type in um, text animation or you know, and we can say something like scene number one, right? So we've got like scene one and we can just leave it as it is. Now we want to kind of animate the interface, the basically the splash screen, which has a logo, some text and a few buttons. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and export all those assets from whichever design tool that you have used to design the interface and make sure to export it at very high resolution and go ahead and import it. So don't, to import it, you can double click on this area, which says the project. And as you can see, I have all my assets over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the letter. Uh, the logo and the logo base and then we've got the login button. We need that as well we, we need the sign up button and we need the splash screen as well all right um, we're gonna go ahead and take all this and uh, Press import and that's gonna go ahead and import everything that we need now You can also you can actually go ahead and put these into folders uh, Just to make it easy for management. So I'm gonna call this scene 2 um, And I'm gonna call this oh, so let's call it splash screen and this will be scene two all right that's just you know a group and uh let's, let's rename this all right now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new composition for the second scene but this time i'm not going to go ahead and click on this button to create a new composition rather what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the splash screen reference image that you have which is basically the splash screen the background i'm going to take that i'm going to drag that and i'm going to drop that inside a new composition and what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a new composition which is the exact same size as the interface, as the screen size over here, right? And then this it creates a new composition automatically. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find that composition and just gonna bring this out. And I'm gonna say splash screen um, scene two, all right? There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and just bring in all the assets. So I'm going to get in the button, uh, the logo plate, the logo base, the login, and uh, you know the, the the letter, right? So uh, make sure that this splash screen is at the way at the bottom. And now things look quite big and quite scale. So what I'm going to do is the logo plate, the logo base, and the letter. All right. If I solo this, these three like kind of form the logo. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, kind of move all these up together and I'm going to right click uh, or actually I'm going to go to um, uh, layer and then choose pre-compose. What this is going to do is this is going to create a composition only for these three elements and I'm going to call this logo. All right. So now you can see that we have the logo, which is a composition. And then we've got these three things. Right, so let's double click on the logo so we can go inside the logo composition and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control K and I'm gonna kind of resize this a little bit. So I'm gonna set the height also to 2436. So we get something that looks like this and we wanna put the logo plate at the bottom and we wanna have uh, the, the logo base. I'm just gonna call this the uh, logo stroke so we can see this better. All right, and we've got the letter. Now the logo stroke, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of scale this a little bit, right? Something like that. There we go. That should be fine. Actually, I'm going to control Z that, right? I'm going to make this uh, 100, uh, 100% and the logo plate that we have, I'm going to reduce that down a little bit, right? So something that kind of looks like this. Yeah, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate this. So we're going to select the logo stroke and I'm press R on my keyboard, which is, and R stands for rotation. And I'm going to click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And then we'll come two frames, two seconds forward. And here we have two properties. One is the number of rotations and the other one is the degree. What we want to do is we want to click on the first one and type three. So what that means is that the whole thing is going to spin 360 degrees three times, right? So it's three complete cycles. And I'm going to select these two. Obviously right click, keyframe assistant, choose easy ease. And I'm going to come to the graph editor, 
select this and then go ahead, hold down shift and move this over to the left side, like so, right? So now if we play this, you see we get an animation that looks like this, right? Pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for the logo, right? So we can just close the logo and I've got the splash screen. Now obviously this logo is too huge and too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, press, I'm gonna press S on my keyboard. I'm gonna scale this down quite a bit. We can actually even zoom in, all right? Uh, let's scale this a bit more. So say something like 18 pixels, um, sorry, 18 percentage, uh, that should be fine. And we also have a lot of these texts that are there. So we've got the, um, oh, we need another set. We need the, the main text, so I'm gonna grab that. All right, and I'll put this inside. Or, and I'm gonna bring this down like so. Um, and now we've got this text that says, welcome to Splitwiser. And we also got the sign up text. So I'm gonna take the sign up, uh, bring that here. And I'm gonna just set this to third for now. Uh, I'm gonna bring this down and then we've got the login button. I'm gonna bring that down as well. So we can select these two, kind of go around and play around with the spacing. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set this to, uh, sorry, uh, set this to fit to 100%. And we're gonna take all this and kind of uh, accept the last one and move this to the center of the screen, pretty much like so. There we go, so this looks quite good. And maybe we can scale down the logo a bit more. So maybe 13%, uh, I think 13 is nice. We'll kind of bring this down. All right, and we can turn on title action save to see if it kind of feels that it's in the center and this looks pretty okay, uh, not too bad. And there we go, right? So now this is pretty much how we want to animate this. Now for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide all the others except the logo and we're gonna animate the scale and the position of the logo, okay? So I'm gonna press P on my keyboard and Shift S, okay? And uh, I'm gonna set position keyframes over here. Okay, all right. Actually, I'm gonna to come to the beginning over here. Okay, so we wanna remember these values, which is uh, 562 and 888. So what I can do, I can select this keyframe and just move this over to the side. And I can do the same thing over here as well for the scale, move that over to the side, because that's our end position. We'll just keep that as a reference. And here we're gonna create two more keyframes. All right, and uh, what we want is for the first two seconds, we don't want any movement, all right? Uh, we want the uh, position to be um, in the center. So if I select this and go to align and center this, you can see that, okay, I'm gonna delete the first keyframe. So until here, the position is in the center. And also we want the uh, scale also to be quite big. So let's bump this up to like uh, 35%. All right, and what happens is that right now here, the logo animates like so, all right? And and then you can see that it kind of moves, uh, let me set this to quarter. And then it moves from there to over here, right? So I think somewhere uh, in the middle of, you know, like, or probably one, one second and 10 frames, we can select these two and move this over here. And then probably, 30 frames forward, so hold down shift, control, and the right square bracket, right arrow key, and you can select these two and bring them over here. So if you kind of select this, right click, choose keyframe assistant, choose easy ease, then we can go to the graph editor, select all these and hold down shift and bring them inside. And uh, let's go ahead and play this and see how this looks. All right, and there we go. Yeah, I guess we can slow this down a little bit. So maybe um, 50 frames, forward, we can do that. All right, let's play this again. All right, there we go, that looks much better. Cool. So the next thing is uh, we wanna animate these three elements. So pretty much somewhere over here, um, somewhere in the middle, we can animate these three elements. So we want to animate the position and the opacity. So I'm gonna select all these three, press P on my keyboard, press T on my keyboard by holding down Shift T and we get the position and the opacity. We can click on the stopwatch to kind of create a keyframe. Um, and we wanna come here to the two second mark, add another keyframe. So we have the beginning and the end, and I'm gonna to come to the beginning. And here we're gonna kind of move this down a bit, you know, pretty much like so. And also set the opacity of this to zero so that it starts from the bottom, has an opacity of zero, and then it slowly moves up. And then we can go select all this, right click, keep him assistant and choose easy ease. And let's come here to the graph editor. We come over here and select this and you know, kind of move this over to the left side. There we go. And now if we kind of play this, this is what we get. Looks pretty good. 
Now, the other thing we can do is um, since I kind of want these to start over here, these layers, I'm going to press Alt and the left square bracket key so that we cut it to over here. Alt and the left square bracket key or option in the left square bracket key. And I'm going to kind of add a nice delay to this. So um, I think login should be above. All right. So we've got split visor. I'm going to go 10 frames forward and I'm going to move this one by pressing the left square bracket key. Shift control and the right square bracket key to move another 10 frames forward and select this and press the left square bracket key. So we have some sort of a delay. Right. There we go. But maybe that's too much. So probably I'm going to reduce that, increase that to uh, reduce that to five frames. So hold down control and the right square bracket key. So that goes one, two, three, four, five. Click here, press the left square bracket key to snap it and then go control right side. One, two, three, four, five. Select this and press the left square, left square bracket key to snap it. And now if you play this, we can see that they, you know, they move in really well. Right. That looks pretty good. There we go. So now our splash screen is done, all right? And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna create a new composition and call this main, uh, just gonna say final render, just say final. And this is gonna be 1920 by 1080. And you know, maybe make this 10 seconds uh, or maybe, yeah, let's make this 30 seconds. And uh, let's, this is gonna be like our final composition where we have all the scenes put together. I'm gonna bring in scene one, drop that in. All right, so we, you can see that we, we get the animation that we did. And then we'll bring in scene two as well. That's gonna be on top. And uh, yeah, so we kind of have to decide um, when we want to bring this in. So Splitwise just got wiser, right? So pretty much somewhere over here, we can bring this over here. And what we wanna do is we wanna kind of scale this and you know, bring it in. So I'm gonna press S on my keyboard and we're gonna go ahead and increase the scale. All right, so that it covers the entire screen. All right, and I'm gonna click on uh, the scale. And obviously we wanna make sure that we turn on motion blur for everything. Make sure you turn on motion blur for all the layers. All right, and I'm gonna come here to the final and we've got this, all right. And I'm gonna probably gonna go one second forward. So from 13, I can click over here and just change this to 14, all right. And we're gonna scale this down quite a bit so that until it's the, you know, it's in the center of the screen. So, you know, pretty much like this. Or I think maybe we can go ahead and increase this to something over here, maybe uh, three seconds far. So from 13, we can make this 16. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, or maybe, yeah, that, I think that this is okay. This should be fine. So if you play this, let's take a look. And you, you can see that we have that animation and then things slowly move in, right? Pretty good. Now let's go ahead and ease this, obviously. So you know, select this, keyframe assistant, choose easy ease. And then we're gonna go select this one and hold shift and move this. So we've get this nice, you know, like an easing effect. There we go, that looks super cool. Now the next thing we wanna do is over here, you know, when this part is covering the entire screen, right? We want to kind of go ahead and change the background color, right? Because we want it to be a different background color. We don't want it to be this color. So what I'm gonna do is we actually added the background over here. I'm gonna select these two, copy that, or press control X to cut it because we don't want the background in this layer in this composition, sorry. And I've come to the final and paste it over here. So we have, you know, the main control is over here. Okay. And uh, at this point, we kind of want to cut the BG one, which is the blue one, all right? So I'm just gonna call this BG blue, and this is gonna be BG white. All right, and I'm gonna select the BG blue, press Alt and the right square bright key. So we cut it only over here. And when this resumes, it resumes back to the regular, you know, BG white that we had, right? And uh, yeah, that, that, that looks pretty good. And also what we can do is we can cut this animation also, text animation. We can stop it by pressing Alt and the right square bracket key so that it ends at this point and you know, splash screen C number two goes forward, right? And you know, we can play this and that looks, uh, looks pretty good. Now, what we can do is also add an effect called as drop shadow. And I'm pretty sure all of you know what drop shadow is. I'm gonna select a uh, drop shadow and drag that on splash screen uh, scene two. And uh, now we can go ahead and add some settings to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, set the direction to 180. And uh, the distance is gonna be like 200. And uh, the softness is gonna be 500. Right, so you kind of want to have a, you know, like a dark shadow. And also we can go ahead and change the color to be a dark, you know, 
bluish kind of a thing and probably reduce down the opacity to like you know 10 percent you know keep it quite subtle you can go ahead and play around with the uh the value but we're just going to keep it at 15 all right so let's go ahead and play this and see how this looks right so we've got text it snaps and then you've got the next one you know that kind of comes in right pretty cool quite smooth um we can actually go ahead and move this to 16 if we want all right and we're gonna move this over here and now let's play this yeah that looks way better pretty cool all right so that's pretty much it for this video we're gonna go ahead and create the next scenes in the next video so if you have any questions or requests let me know in the comment sections down below make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing awesome content and i'll see you guys in the next video so till then take care and bye bye